So we don't need any excuse to wear our favorite fragrances. But since it is springtime, I thought about why don't I tell you some of my favorite longest lasting beast mode springtime fragrances. If you want to find out which ones, and I know you do, you know what to do. Let's go. <music> Welcome back to the channel. I hope wherever you are, this video is finding you well. And as you can tell from the thumbnail and from the little intro, today we're going to be talking about my favorite beast mode fragrances that are perfect for the springtime. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. The first fragrance I want to talk about is a niche fragrance. Now this fragrance can be worn soon as the weather gets warm. And honestly, I think it's quite versatile enough to wear any time of the year. This is a great spring summer fragrance and I'm talking about this one from Parfums de Marley. This one is called Percival. Guys, this one right here is one of my favorite, favorite fragrances. I love wearing this because it gives me kind of a 90s feel of walking in the mall when you'd walk by Abercrombie & Fitch. It has a little bit of that Abercrombie & Fitch fierce vibes going on with it, but a little higher quality, you know, kind of like that shower gel-esque and broxen laden fragrance but it smells so good it's high quality and this one lasts forever on my skin as soon as you spray it right away you get a bunch of those sweet citruses really really sweet you get the soothing lavender the cinnamon is nice aromatic touches it's musky light woods and then a whole lot of embroxen i get eight plus hours on my skin and i find that this is versatile enough to wear on any occasion you name it wedding work it's safe People are gonna like it, but it's strong and it gives you performance in the summertime or the springtime, whatever the case may be, you are gonna love this fragrance. So for that reason, I picked Parfums of Marley, Percival. Now, I know the new fragrance, Perseus, is out, and I just wondered what you guys thought of that fragrance. I'm not a big fan. I just did a short on that one, talking about what I thought about it. Not a big fan, but maybe it'll grow on me. Comment down below if you're looking forward to the new fragrance Perseus, and if you're a fan of that new release. Number two fragrance, in no particular order. This is from an indie niche house. Don't just buy from the mass-produced niche houses or the mass-produced designer fragrances. Look for these indie, indie houses, guys. Support small business. It's fun to do. They really make some great things. They're great artisans. And this one right here by Authenticity Barbershop is a perfect, perfect beast mode, great performer, super strong fragrance for the spring and summer. I love this one. I want to feel what it's like to smell like you stepped into one of those old timey barber shops where you see them sharpening their blades and they've got the shaving cream all over their face. That's what this is going to invoke. And I'm telling you right now, when you spray this, it is going to smell like warm, sudsy lather all over your face and you're gonna get a clean shave. This one is so good, guys. Starts off with the citruses, bergamot, lemon, the aromatic touches coming from the fur. There's a lot of oak moss in this, so you gotta like oak moss. Some nice dry cedar wood, musky, and like I said, just like a warm, soapy shaving cream. Eight plus hours easily with this one, and it's a really good price, guys. I know most of us are used to paying hundreds of dollars for niche fragrances designer. Guys, this is like, way cheaper than that but for a good price you're gonna smell amazing smell so good guys very very versatile barbershop fragrance all right guys the king of the beast modes and especially for this time of year i love the new release by zaharov called black rose but today i am talking about first original gangster rose release rose this one is so good signature rose the first time i i smelled it i was just I don't know, I was in heaven because it's in a religious experience, especially when you get to that dry down with the incense and the myrrh and the rose. Just it gives you this beautiful religious experience. And I'm telling you, when I sprayed this, forget about eight plus hours. This goes a couple days. This one is beast mode and it smells so good. And if you're a gentleman out there and you think rose is not for you, that's a little bit girly. Let me just dispel that myth because this is one of the first rose fragrances I've ever worn that made me fall in love with rose because it's masculine enough, it has power, it has oomph coming from that myrrh and frankincense. It's just so beautiful, guys. This one right here is definitely, definitely worth the price of admission. There's lots of beautiful, elegant rose in here. The rose oil is so opulent, luxurious, guys. 
That's why this one was always a little bit more expensive than some of the others. But then you have that creamy vanilla, sugar cane, and like I said, those religious touches of myrrh and frankincense. Beast mode, beast mode next day stuff, guys. You've got to try out Rosé from Zaharoff. Absolutely fantastic. And don't forget to check out the newest release from Zaharoff, ladies. This one is called Signature Bloom. Absolutely amazing. It's coming out soon. All our fragrances up until this point have been kind of geared towards gentlemen. This one is going to be geared more towards the ladies, although I do believe men will probably like this one as well. Definitely check it out. Zahara Signature Bloom. This fragrance I'm going to talk about, guys. Cheesy bottle. Cheesy, cheesy bottle. But a great, great scent. You guys know this one. This is Armoff, and they are an amazing, amazing clone house. This is Club de Nuit Intense Man. If you guys love Aventus, and that is one of the most copied fragrances, always copied, never duplicated. But guys, I like this one. Now, I will say, when you spray this right away, my first impression was it was a little bit astringent, a little bit harsh, but as it starts to dry down, you are gonna get that a fruity, citrusy, birch, Aventus DNA, guys, that black currant. It is so, so good, like I said. If you love the Aventus DNA, this is a great inspiration. Lemon, pineapple, fruity apple, and black currant. You get the birch, the rose, the moss, the ambergris. This is so good, and I got so many compliments when I wore this on vacation. I love this one, and especially when you get the compliments, it makes you like it even more. But guys, if you're looking for a fragrance that goes 9, 10, 11 hours, this one does on my skin. I love it. Cheesy bottle, like I said, but this is definitely beast mode with a huge, huge scent trail. Another fragrance that's perfect for the spring or summer is this one right here. Another Middle Eastern fragrance. They really know how to do these fragrances well. Guys, I'm talking about Hawass by Rasasi. Oh, I love this fragrance. It's so sweet and so youthful. I love the DNA in here. It just, I don't know, it's vibrant. It's a pick-me-up. It puts a smile on your face. And this fragrance right here, easily, easily eight plus hours, guys. So good. You get fruity apple, bergamot, lemon, cinnamon, plum, aquatic, warm, musky, guys. Eight plus hours easily. It's a compliment getting machine. I know some of you hate it when, when reviewers say that. But guys, if you put yourself out there, if you have a smile on your face, don't walk around like you got a stick up your butt. You know, maybe be a little bit out there friendly. You know, don't have a scowl on your face. You know, one of those people, of course, no one's going to come up to you. Don't be a jerk. But if you're kind and nice and engaging and, you know, care, people will come up to you. I, it happens to me all the time. So when people say they don't get comp compliments off their fragrances, I don't get it. But to each his own, if you don't, you don't. I'm not calling you a liar. I'm just saying I get compliments. And this is a great compliment getting fragrance. I love this one. And I love how youthful it is. And yes, some people say it smells like Invictus Aqua. It is, it's aquatic, it's sweet, they are very similar, but uh, I like this one just a little bit better. It's a little bit stronger, a little bit more woodsy in my opinion, a little bit more mature than Invictus Aqua, but still a great fragrance, love it. Next one on the list, don't hate me, I know you're not supposed to talk about fragrances that are discontinued, but I'm gonna do it anyway. This one right here, guys, is great for the spring. This is Aqua Di Gio Profumo. Now, we all know about the original gangster that came out in the 90s. Our dads had it. We probably still have it. Alberto Marias made the most amazing fragrance, the number one selling fragrance in the world, Aqua de Jo. It is absolutely incredible, guys. Same fragrance, same DNA, but now you add that incense note in here. Guys, you cannot go wrong. Citri, aquatic, aromatic with lots of incense. This one is dark and mysterious, more mature. It lasts all day, and to me, it's better than the original. And you know what? If you go online, you can still find this one in the wild for somewhat decent price. I still see it on certain websites. It still can be found. You know, don't pay anything ridiculous, but every once in a while, I still see this for like 150 bucks. It's a great fragrance and worth having in your collection. I love it because it lasts all day. Why, oh why, do they discontinue the great fragrances? This is one that we should all sign a petition for and keep it on the market because it's so damn good. Okay guys, eight plus hours easily on Aqua Di Gio Profumo. And last but not least, here comes all the tomatoes. Here comes the things flying at me. That's right, I know, the most controversial fragrance in the world. It's the fragrance that helped launch all the blue fragrances. You either love it or you hate it. Most of you hate it. So you say, I'm in the love category because when I wear it, my wife goes crazy. 
I happen to like it too. And I think the ad campaign with Johnny Depp is amazing. This is Dior Sauvage and it just depends what concentration you like. I do like the Eau de Parfum, but the EDT to me is the most powerful. Love it guys, it's citrusy. It's a whole lot of spices. It's got smooth lavender, a heavy dose of that embroxen, that woody like embroxen. And then you just get a masculine dry down with the woods and leather guys. Love, love, love this fragrance. And it lasts all day. It's very fresh, yet spicy and woody and a little bit leathery on the dry down. It is so good. And I have a major, major dent, guys. I've got to buy a new bottle. And trust me, when I run out, I will. One of my favorites. Now, I know a lot of you like Elixir instead. And that one's a great fragrance, too. It lasts a long time. So if you don't like this one, you don't like what I have to say, then go ahead and buy Dior Sauvage Elixir. That is a great great alternative if you hate this DNA and don't want to smell like everybody else. There you have it, guys. Those are my picks for Beast Mode Springtime Fragrances. What are some of your picks? Let me know in the comments down below because it helps all of us out. You know, we get some ideas. We can add to our list, take, take away from our list, whatever the case may be. We can all learn from your expertise. Hopefully, I've brought you some entertainment, had a little bit of fun. You liked what I had to say. If you did, please hit the thumbs up. It helps the algorithm. It gets the video out there. The more engagement I get, even if you give me the thumbs down or tell me I suck, it helps the algorithm and it helps the video get out there. Now, what I'd love to have you do if you like the video is I'd love to you to hit that subscribe button down below, hit those bell notifications off the side. And guys, I always love talking about fragrances. I love connecting. Connect with me on Facebook. Connect with me on the gram. I'm under Scott Aromatico. We can talk and messenger, whatever you want to do. I love talking to you guys. You guys are amazing. So until next time, I hope wherever you are, you are finding peace and happiness. This is Scott Aromatico, out.